proportion. Proportion is an equation in which two ratios are equal. Using the terms A, B, C, D, proportion is often written as A is to B equals C is to D, or A over B equals C over D. The first term A and the fourth term D are called extremes. These are the outer terms. The second term B and the third term C are called means. These are the inner terms. Example, Dwight ate four pieces of the eight-piece pizza. Let's say these are the pizzas eaten by Dwight. One, two, three, four. With the given example, the ratio of pizza eaten by Dwight with the total pieces of pizza can be written in ratio using the fraction form as four-eighths. Simplifying this is one-half. In colon form, the ratio can be written as 4 is to 8. Simplifying this is 1 is to 2. Using the pictorial model, you could see that 4 parts of the 8 equal parts show half of the total parts. Therefore, the ratios 4 eighths and 1 half are equal ratios. And so with 4 is to 8 and 1 is to 2. These ratios are equal. Therefore, we will call them proportion. To check whether two ratios in fraction form are equal, like 4 eighths equals 1 half, apply cross multiplication. Multiply the numerator of the first fraction with the denominator of the second fraction. Multiplying 4 times 2 equals 8. Multiply also the numerator of the second fraction with the denominator of the first fraction. Multiplying 1 times 8 equals 8. If the products are the same after cross-multiplying, then the ratios are proportion. To check whether two ratios in colon form are equal, like 4 is to 8, equals 1 is to 2, multiply the means. So 8 times 1 equals 8. Multiply also the extremes. So 4 times 2 equals 8. If the product of the means and extremes are the same, then the ratios are proportion. Activity 1. Tell if the pair of ratios is proportion or not. Number 1. 6 is to 4 equals 12 is to 8. Multiplying the means 4 times 12 equals 48. And multiplying the extremes 6 times 8 equals 48. Therefore, the ratios are proportion because the products are both 48. Number 2. 3 is to 7 equals 9 is to 14. Multiplying the means 7 times 9 equals 63. And multiplying the extremes 3 times 14 equals 42. Therefore, the ratios are not proportion, since the products 63 and 42 are not the same. Number 3. 5 over 8 equals 10 over 16. Cross multiplying 5 times 16 equals 80 and 10 times 8 equals 80. Therefore, the ratios are proportion, since the products are both 80. There are times that a term in proportion is missing. So to find the missing term like ratios in column form, 4 is to 8 equals 1 is to n, first step is to multiply the complete pair of terms. Going back with the pairs in proportion, we have the means and extremes. And with the given example, the complete pair is the means, which is 8 and 1. Multiplying 8 times 1 equals 8. Second step is to divide the product by the term in incomplete pair. Again, 
with a given example, the incomplete pair is 4 and n. Dividing the product 8 divided by 4, which is the lone number in extreme, is 2. So the missing term is 2. To find the missing term in proportion, wherein ratios are in fraction form, like 4 over n equals 1 half, apply cross multiplication. First step is to multiply the complete pair of terms. Going back with the given proportion, the complete pair is 4 and 2. Multiplying 4 times 2 equals 8. Second step is to divide the product by the term in incomplete pair. So dividing the product 8 by the number in incomplete pair, which is 1, equals 8. So the missing term is 8. Activity 2. Find the missing term. Number 1. 4 is to 5 equals n is to 20. Multiplying the complete pair 4 times 20 equals 80. Then dividing the product 80 by the number in incomplete pair, which is 5, is 16. So the missing term is 16. Number 2. N is to 6 equals 9 is to 18. Multiplying the complete pair 6 times 9 equals 54. Then dividing the product 54 by the number in incomplete pair, which is 18, is 3. So the missing number is 3. Number 3. 5 over 9 equals 10 over n. Cross multiplying the complete terms 10 times 9 equals 90. Then dividing the product 90 by 5 equals 18. So the missing term is 18.